Hi everyone, I am Beth and I am the creator of the Busy Baby Mat. It is the first ever placemat to stop babies from dropping and throwing their toy. Uh, it is probably the most versatile baby product you're gonna find that's gonna keep your baby busy and safer from germs for the first three years of their life. Before I show you how cool this is, um, welcome to my kitchen. What a lot of people don't know about Busy Baby is it's not a big company. It's literally just me. I came up with this idea after my son was born uh, about three years ago now and turned it into a real product. Uh, I also now have a four-month-old, and I am super excited that I get to start using this with him uh, because my big kid was a little bit too big by the time I finally got it made. So I am super excited. If you follow me on social media, you're going to see a lot of uh, Busy Baby number two because he is now at the age where he can start being a model for the product. So what is it? What is the Busy Baby Mat? If you have not seen this or heard about it before, um, let me just show you how cool this is. It is a silicone placemat with four suction cups on the back, little tray for snacks on the front, and then these four attachment points, okay? These attachment points are used to attach your baby's toys. So I have got here, a toy and a tether. The tethers have one end with three holes and another end with squiggles. The end with the three holes goes through or around whatever toys you have that you want to use to keep your baby happy. And then the end with the squiggles plugs into one of these attachment points on the mat. So now you set it down, baby can play, they can pull, they can drop, they can throw, and nothing is ending up on the ground. So I told you it's the most versatile product, right? You can use it at restaurants, you can use it at home, you can use it on the airplane, you can use it while you're shopping. Okay, I'll show you this in a minute. Uh, you can use the tethers everywhere. So let's get into this thing. Let's really look at how it works, okay? First use is in the restaurant. That's what I initially had uh, the idea was to use it when I went out to eat with my son. Something to keep him from being such a distraction um, so I could actually have a conversation with my husband or my friends when we go out. He can still be there and just not be a big distraction. So the first four months of your baby's life, they can't physically sit up on their own. So a lot of times you're going to be going places and they're going to stay in the carrier. Um, you have appointments to go to. You have, you know, if you can get to go out to a restaurant, they can't sit up. So they're going to stay in here. What you can do is you can wrap your busy baby mat around the handle. The way that works is the suction cups on the back. So these suction cups line up with each other. You just go around the handle and hook them like that, and there you have it. So now those first four months, you can attach different toys. Uh, just something to give baby a little visual stimulation. Um, and then as they get a little bit older, it's something kind of to bat at to just keep them entertained. Now starting around five months, six months, baby can sit up on their own. So maybe they're going to join you at the table. Uh, you can just set the mat on the table like this. A pro mama tip is, especially with the young babies, is don't even put toys on here. Little babies will play with these tethers forever before they get discontent. They'll try and thread it through the hole. They'll chew on it. Then when they start getting a little bit bored, um, then you can hook on the toy and get some more time out of it. Uh, if you happen to be at a restaurant that the table uh, is has a cloth covering on it or it's a patio table or something like that where it doesn't stick, um, you can still wrap this thing right around the high chair. Um, a lot of the high chairs in restaurants will have this bar in the front, um, and then your baby can just play like that. All right, as baby gets a little bit older, uh, maybe they're past the age where they don't really need the tethers anymore, this thing is still really great to take out with you to the restaurant. I actually still carry this for my three-year-old. It comes with this really great travel sleeve. So it rolls up and goes in here, and then you can further smush this thing up however you want, smash it in your diaper bag or your purse, pops right back out to its normal size and shape. Um, slap it on the table, now you have a clean surface for their food. But the coolest part is you can write on this, color on it as much as you want with washable markers, and you can see as baby colors, when the food comes, you can just use a baby wipe and get all that off. So now you have a clean surface, kind of hard to clean when it was holding it in the air. Clean surface, throw baby's food right on there. 
So zero to three at the restaurant, it's awesome. Now, home use. We've all been spending a lot of time at home lately, so I've come up with some really cool ways to use it at home. The number one way is, is the high chair. Uh, the mat measures eight and a half by an 11 and a half inches. So that's kind of like the size of a sheet of paper. So if you want to see if it will fit on your high chair, just set a piece of paper on your high chair. This is the Ikea antelope high chair. Uh, it's got a pretty small tray. The mat fits just right on there barely. Um, for smaller trays, I've actually seen people that will go over the edge and attach the front like that so they can still make it work. So you attach this to your high chair. Um, again, this really sticks on here. I can lift up this high chair. Baby can play, they can drop, they can throw, it's not going anywhere, and they can actually pull these back up on their own. This is great so you can actually make a meal, eat your meal, and clean up afterwards. Baby's content, they're happier when they're up where they can see you um, versus like on a swing on the ground or, or somewhere else. And they have stuff to keep them busy and occupied. So high chairs are great use at home. Also at home, in the kitchen, let's say baby just needs to be near you and you're in the kitchen trying to do something else. They don't want to be in a high chair. You can stick this thing on your fridge. They can sit here and play. Uh, or maybe your dishwasher. Um, washer and dryer back there. While you're folding clothes, stick this on one of them and baby can play while you fold clothes. Another great use at home is on windows. This thing sticks like crazy to windows and mirrors. So if you've got like a patio door or a, a low window, you can put this up there and baby can practice standing. They can pull up and play with this and, and get some leg muscle and, and balance, okay? Maybe you work from home. I know a lot of us are doing that lately. Um, what I've been doing is putting this on my desk. So when my baby is feeling very needy, he sits on my lap. The mat is in front of me so he can play with that while I have my arms around him typing. Tons of uses for at home. Uh, tethers. Okay, the tethers are super awesome. These are the ones I'm using right now. So I do have the tethers in a couple colors right now. The mats all come with two tethers that are gray. Um, I have blue and yellow available for purchase. I highly recommend ordering extra tethers because these things are so awesome. Um, what's great about these is the fact that they're 100% food grade silicone. Um, I'm using these right now for my son who's four months just starting to teeth. He can easily hang on to this and put all of this in his mouth at any point. So he doesn't care. He just wants to chew on something. And we've all seen that with babies. Um, the passy clips that are made of cloth, they get really gummy and gross because baby's not going to just chew on their toy. They're going to chew on whatever is in their hand or in front of them. Food grade silicone, dishwasher safe, cleans up great, and it actually feels good on their teeth. This is what the same material teething toys are made out of, is food grade silicone. Um, I use these. I, I just give them to him. He can get his little fingers through there. I use it on, here, I'll show you. I use it on my carrier. This is a Baby Bjorn front carrier circa 1990. <laughs> if that tells you anything about the quality of Baby Bjorn, they're great. Um, I keep his pacifier attached right to this. So it's always handy. The tethers are also great if you want to put it like on the arm or handle of your car seat on the side here. You can do that. So you've always got something attached. Uh, do not advocate for putting them on the straps of car seats. You're not supposed to have anything between the car seat strap and your baby. But if you're out in the stroller, you can put them right around, um, right around the strap of the stroller. Uh, tons of uses for these tethers. Okay, so tethers are awesome. Oh, what I wanna tell you about the tethers too is the squiggly end design. I don't know if I showed you this earlier or not, but the markers can also go through the hole on the tether. The squiggly end design is, is like that for a reason. When we plug this squiggly end into the mat, what it does is it gives a little bit of give there before it pulls directly on the suction cup. So that just helps the suction work better. Okay. Another awesome thing about the tethers and another reason that you might want to consider ordering extra is this little guy right here. For those of you who already have kids or know somebody with a kid, you know the struggle of the sippy cup and how it ends up on the ground. I love this sippy cup. I think it's great. Um, the only problem with it is when it hits the ground, it splatters like crazy. Um, this is the munchkin one. You get it at Target, wherever. So what I've done is I've wrapped a tether around the handle. And then I connected one tether to another tether 
So I have two tethers together. So this is really important as baby gets bigger. Um, one tether is not quite long enough to reach their mouth. So if you put two together, they can still reach their mouth and they can drop it and it's not gonna splatter on the ground. Okay, uh, let's see, I've got a lot more to tell you still. Daycare centers. I have had uh, several daycare centers here in Minnesota use the Busy Baby Mats and give me their feedback. Um, and it's, it really made me happy to hear what they had to say because it was more than I even had in mind when I created this. Um, first of all, you might have questions about cleaning. It is dishwasher safe. Daycare centers run it through a sanitizer four times a day. So that's like industrial strength, heat, four times a day, they hold up just fine. What the daycare centers also found is that it does make mealtime easier for all the reasons we've already talked about. Um, they also see a lot of benefit in self-feeding. So I will show you a couple things here. First, silicone, as with any silicone mat that you can get on the market, it's not as slippery as say a bowl or, or the table um, or a, pl a plate. So it's easier for babies to pick up their food. So as they're learning how to self-feed, it's easier to pick up their food. Also, what you can do is you can attach utensils to the tethers. So I've got a basic munchkin spoon from Target. I love these little Ryan and Rose ones. They're super cute and, and they're very functional. And then I just came across these Num Num ones that have just a space in them. Um, all just early eating tools that you can hook up to the Busy Baby mat and plug into the mat. And now you can go ahead and you can put in this space, you can put applesauce or mashed avocado, sweet potato, rice cereal, whatever it is that you want to experiment with feeding your baby. Um, and you can even turn the mat around so that the, the little tray is closer to their face. And then they can practice and figure out how to eat on their own. You know, you can sit there and feed them and, and, and that's great too. But if you leave this here, they can figure it out, and if they drop it, it's not going to the floor. They can still pick it up and keep trying. So that's one thing that the daycare centers thought was really great, is it's really helpful in letting your baby learn how to self-feed. Um, another factor that they brought up is the fine motor skill development. So like I mentioned earlier, the, the new mama hack is to just put the mat down, stick in a tether, and don't even add toys, because the tether is a toy. And they will sit here and try to figure this out for a long time. And what this is doing is giving them fine motor skill development. They're using their fingers to try and figure this out. Then when you have toys attached and a toy drops, it's also problem solving and persistence that they're learning. So toy falls, oh no, where'd it go? Baby tries to figure it out. Now to get it up, it's not easy for a baby to reach this and pull it up and figure it out, but they're gonna keep trying, it's gonna keep them busy, and they're gonna learn how to problem solve and have persistence. And then like I mentioned earlier, if you use the mat on a fridge or on a window, something where they stand up, it gives them gross motor skill development. So what the daycares really like the most, which surprised me, because I thought it would be the feeding aspect that they would like the most, it was actually being able to put the mat on, um, on a window or a mirror above a ballet bar. So a lot of daycare centers will have a bar um, that's mounted on a mirror or, or a glass window, and it's intended for the babies to pull up and stand. Well, when they put the busy baby mat up above that bar, the babies pull up more and are encouraged to stay and stand longer and play. So they stand more often and they stand longer, which is giving them a lot more balance training and gross motor skill development like muscle building. Okay, so that's a lot we've covered. Um, just a few more things that I wanna tell you that you should know. Um, food grade silicone has a tendency to at attract dust, lint, um, pet hair. It's just the nature of the material. So FDA, food grade silicone. Um, we could put in an additive that would repel those things, that it wouldn't be food grade anymore. It wouldn't be safe for your babies to chew on um, or eat from. So. Anytime you have suction cups, whether it's this mat or uh, a suction bowl or suction plate, if they're dirty at all with lint uh, or pet hair or anything, or if the surface has crumbs, they're not going to stick. Suction cups need um, clean surface to stick. So the great thing about this, this Busy Baby mat is that it has four suction cups. So even if one suction cup comes loose, you still have three more holding it up. Um, but you're going to want your surfaces to be clean, both the mat and the table. 
Um, again, quick swipe with a baby wipe is all you need just to clean that up and then slap her down. Just another fun fact is these suction bowls and suction plates stick better suction um, silicone to silicone. So they really stick to this mat really good. Okay, what else? Uh, surfaces. The surfaces must be non-porous. Uh, so what you'll see is, you know, you've seen it on the high chair, you've seen it on the fridge, you've seen it on the countertop. Windows, mirrors are great. But something like an old oak table, um, a porous surface, let's see if this will work here. Like it's not going to stick to that. Uh, so it doesn't, suction cups don't stick to everything. It's not like the greatest invention ever. But it does stick to a lot. And it's going to stick to a lot of places that you are going to go. I didn't talk about the shopping cart. This is probably my favorite use. Once our babies are big enough to sit up in the shopping cart, is guaranteed when they're teething. And the first thing a baby will do, or pretty, pretty close to the first thing they're gonna do, is they're gonna lean forward and put their mouths on that nasty handle. This can go right around the shopping cart handle, right in front of your baby, toys or not, and now they can chew on this way safer for them, way cleaner. And because it's the same material as teething toys and these little ridges here feel good on their teeth. So you can feel better. Again, it's super easy to put in your purse or your diaper bag and take shopping. All right, two more things. Comes with this sleeve, okay? So I will demonstrate how to do it. You're not gonna get this thing out of here by pulling, okay? That's not how it goes. You're going to take it and you're going to roll it down and roll it off the mat. Okay. I keep the tethers attached so you don't lose them. I do have two styles of the sleeve. Um, so I'll show both. Um, what you do is you put it on your arm, keep your tethers attached. I roll it with the suction cups in and just slide it down over your arm and over the mat just like that. Okay. This style of sleeve has two open ends. The new style that I have going out now is an actual, like, almost like a tube sock. If you ever lose your sleeve, you can use a tube sock. So with this, you're going to just put your arm in it. You're going to roll it up, grab one end, and slide this thing down and over. The sleeves are machine washable, easy to clean. Okay, so that is the gist of the Busy Baby Mat. I think I have showed you everything that I had in mind. Uh, one of the questions that I do get a lot from people who see my Facebook ad is, where is this made? Because it's really easy when you see a Facebook ad, um, and I know I've been burned, is you order something and it takes two months to come from China. So I get a lot of questions about where is this made? Okay, it is made in China. I know that sucks. I'm a 10-year Army veteran. I do not want to, I, I would love for it to be made here, but as a single person, small business owner, I can't afford it. I have looked for places to manufacture here in the US. Um, the one place I actually found in Minnesota that seemed great, they make a lot of other silicone food products um, that we have in our kitchens. It's owned by China. So yes, I could say made in the US, but it's more expensive and it's still benefiting China more than it benefits us. Um, but what I can tell you is I'm an American. Uh, I'm a veteran. I have an American product development company that helped me design this. I have an American company who does my uh, sourcing and quality control for everything that's done in China. I have an American small business that does my social media posts, an American small business that does the Facebook ads. Uh, my patent attorney is an American small business as well. And I send out my mats every single day, USPS, um, from Minnesota. So you'll, if you order a mat, you get it within like one to three days, depending on where you live. Um, www.busybabymat.com is where you can find me or just Google Busy Baby Mat. And I think that is it. Again, I am a mom, just like you guys. I am a, uh, a mompreneur. I would love for you to tell everybody that you know who has a baby about this mat and, um, and check it out. I wish you all the best in your pregnancies and your births and your first years uh, with your baby. I am at four months postpartum, and I tell you that postpartum hair loss is legit not fun but we'll get through it all and love our babies be kind to one another love one another and let's make this world a better place with our babies okay thanks everybody <laughs>